Hey, what's going on, folks? PK here. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm at a uh, small creek, and I got Nathan with me. We're going to try to catch some crawfish. It is uh, late May. Um, the water feels kind of warm, so hopefully they're out today. All right, so let's go sit up and uh, try to catch them. Okay. Well, folks, for my bait, I have hot dogs. That's like crawfish candy. And also, I got some trout heads. These also work really good. And I got my trap here. Uh, let's see. I think it's pretty simple enough, guys. Um, just put bait in there and let it soak, and that's it. And this creek has a little bit of uh, current, so that's what we want, because um, the scent is going to be carried downstream, and that'll bring them up. It's frozen solid. Okay. Break them up. There's one trout head. Let's just put two in there. And we'll do uh, break up the hot dogs. Yep, right there. That's all you need. That's gonna stink up quite a bit. And then we got this latch. Hook it there. Secure it, that's it. Let's go put it down in the river. Okay, where are we gonna put this guy? Three spots. This one's pretty deep. That one we know there's a crawfish. So we're gonna come right here. We just saw one crawfish right here. Uh, we know this is where they live. We saw one. <clears throat> I know I'm gonna go swimming, man, if I go. Okay. Put it right here, you think? Oh, sure. They'll come up to it. Okay, folks, so for the cylinder one, um, you lock it in place like this. But first, we're going to put in some uh, trout heads right there and some hot dogs like that. We'll lock this into place. And then we got a um, clip here. You just clip it together. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's like that. It is handy. I think we'll just put this kind of close to each other. There's one. Okay, I'll toss this one. Yeah. Because yeah. that's a cylinder. And then this rope. Okay. This right here. Move the rope around, okay? Maybe. You might be able to step on that log, but I would be very careful. Mm. Oh, there's something right there, see? What? Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's strong enough. PK living dangerously. Yeah. Trying to get it so it's, he can easy crawl in. All right, folks, so we got three traps down, one right there. Um, I saw a bunch of crawfish, two actually, in this area that we spooked. Actually, there's one right over there, too. Kind of hard to see in the water, actually, and there's another one. Man, this place is loaded. Ooh, see the baby fish? <laughs> nice. Probably a little bass. Yeah, they smelt it already. Oh, yeah, they're scooting around. Yep. Cool. Yep, that crawfish. Boy, there's a lot of crawfish here. I see so many in the water. One, two, three. See one? For it. Oh, it's there's one right there. There's one coming, folks. See that? I don't know if you can see that. He smelled it. He's going. He's going. So the entrance is on the camera side. 
I'm just curious as what those tiny fish are. They're not trout, that's for sure. Oh, another one. Come and see it. Another one. Right over there. So there's three. No, there's four. There's already within a minute? Yeah. Probably one minute and they're here already. That's cool. Let's, let's check out the other trap. Oh, man, check it out. They're coming. They're coming. They're starting to swarm that trap. I count four already. Like a minute and a half. Okay, let's go over here. That's cool. So quick, man. Oh, I see one come in here. I see one. Two. Two. Here's a baby. Okay. So just about probably two minutes after we set it down, I see like crawdad just coming to the coming to check out the traps. There's a crawfish fight going on. There is. There's a crawfish fight. Be careful, but they're right there. There oh. are two big ones, just head to head. Oh yeah. About a foot off of the cage. That's There's a, a third one coming. Big in. one. They're just like this is my house. <laughs> oh, those are huge. Come on, get inside. They're right now fighting over territory. This is my house. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. Get inside the trap. <laughs> the third one's like, I'm going to scoot right around this argument and get right on in the food. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Don't be fighting. Get in the trap. <laughs> He's the other one okay, go, go, go. Like, go, go, go. I think they noticed the third party going for the food. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder if they're just pecking at it from the outside of the cage. They probably will from the bottom. Okay, there's a big one right below the pot. Look at that, there's a big one there, guys. I didn't bring a net, I didn't realize it'd be this quick. But they're not going inside though, they're kind of hanging on the outside. Okay, th th there's one by the door. It's they're, like they're the, fighting. The big one's pushing him away. As soon as he feels he's got the territory, he'll probably get himself in that cage. And Yeah, they're, okay, let me count. I know there's two by the light. Three, four, five, six. Coming from far away. Yeah. Prepared when you came. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just do a quick update. Okay. So we got about probably 15 minutes here. Um, we can see the crawdads all around the trap, but they're not getting inside. They're just kind of pecking at the food from the outside. I guess their claws are small enough that they reach into the uh, mesh and they you know, they steal the food. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go back home and grab a net and grab um, my waders because that way I can wade out into deeper water and where the current is. And I can also readjust my trap so that it lays flatter on the ground. Um, that way they can't get underneath. So uh, Nathan's gonna stay here and I'm gonna go back and grab some more tools. All right, folks, so I just got back. I got, um, got my wader here. And we're going to check this trap. That one down there, there's a crawfish. There's a bunch of crawfish there. I'm going to jump in and hopefully I don't go all in. <laughs> See them in the water. There we go. Okay, we got some. We got some crawfish. Look at this. This one's got one claw. Ooh, here's a big one. There's a big one right there. He's trying to get some meat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There we go. Three. Four. Right there. Oh, this one goes Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Put some, uh, Socks. Yeah, pull this one. Oh, one got away. Here's a round trap. It's still in the trap. Yeah, we got a big one here. Big one in here. Come here, you. We got a big one in here. Look at that one. Good size. And we got another one. We got two here. Look at that. And the fish carcass is still in there, so we'll put it back. All right, folks, so it is about 9.30, close to, actually close to 10 o'clock. Um, we're just going to pick up and um, just do our little cooking. I don't know if the traps are full or not. I see some in there, and 
the other round one it's kind of hard to see it's in the water but um, let's go ahead and you know just pick it up and uh, get on out of here Right there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a big one. This is a bigger one. This, this is the biggest one in there. There it is. Look at that. Two, three, four. Kind of small. We'll let this one go, kind of small. This one is a little small too, but a little bit bigger than the last one. And this guy, he's a good size, right there. So that's it. Oh, two more. Two more. This one is kind of small. It makes a good video. There we go. It makes a good video, but it's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> there we go. I got this one. Okay. So we got some in there. See it? See, ooh, good one here. Yeah, look at that. So there they are, folks. Pretty good haul for this one. Nice. Look at all that. That's nice. cool. Yeah. Alright, folks. I'm not sure how many lift this is, but we got some more. Right there. This is a good one right here. Right there. Two in one scoop. Two in one scoop. There you go. Man, there's some big ones in there that we missed. It's all right. This is a good first trip. So it's just an exploratory learning trip. We will get better. Take that net from you with the crab trail. Awesome. Well, only got two with the net. I had more before. There we go. Right there. Little guy. There's another one. So that's what we got. Look at all that. Nice. Yeah. Folks, uh, we got our crawdads. We're just gonna cook it really quick, nothing fancy. And as we all know, the best way to cook crawfish is just crawfish boil. We have vegetables right here, okay? Potatoes, onions, and garlic, bay leaf. And that's it right there, Louisiana crawfish boil. I'm pretty sure there's other alternatives, but hey, simplicity is the name of the game for today. These guys got a uh, real nice environment to hang out in. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen some monster ones, man. Oh, when you go, these, this is the Oregon size, roughly, a little bit bigger. I have seen just the body crawfish like that. Claws coming out. The thing was probably that long. And That's a lobster. Texas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was in a, a very, um, it had a lot of moss in the water. Yeah. So the bass couldn't get to them. Uh, and so they could sit below the moss and just thrive. If you want to throw all of this in there while it boils, except for the potatoes, yeah. um, all of that will just throw, throw them in right now? Yeah, just everything but the potatoes. Okay. Into the water as it heats up. Okay. You can even throw this in too. <laughs> <laughs> that might be <sighs> breathing fire, man. Oh, I love them spicy. Really? Oh, yeah. dude, I. You go to Louisiana and this stuff is like, I'm not gonna be dipping them in there. Yeah, I gotta have the garlic. <laughs> yes. You ever had potatoes done in this? Yes. Oh, they get spicy. Yeah? You cut them open and they suck that spice into them. Oh. Then you slather butter on them. That's one thing I forgot, butter. When we come here again, we gotta come early, like, like today. And we can avoid the crowd. Not that there is a crowd, but that is nice. Well, folks, given our time constraint, we're not going to worry about perching these guys. Uh, we're just going to cook it just like that, and we can, when we peel the shell off, we can remove the uh, the vein, the, you know, that dark vein. So it's really not a big deal. Well done, folks. Let's dig into it. Oh, it's got bright red that is. That's gorgeous. Mm. I think the potato should be good too. It's hot. Almost. Really? Okay. Here we go. I got two more minutes. You want more potatoes? Oh no, I'm, I'm there you go. That. I think there's a little more potatoes. Well, let's just eat this for now. I'm gonna chow down. I don't know about you. Yeah, Mmm. Oh, man. Wow. Giant claws. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. This is a big claw. Those taste good. Clean. Oh, flavor. man. I wish these were like one pound each. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen, you know. Oh. Those are some of the best crawfish I've had. Those are good. Yeah. I was able to peel this whole thing so like the meat just comes out. That is the best part of my day right there. Mm, man. There's not a whole lot of meat on these guys, but Lots, so good. A lot of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> well, the sun is bright. Mm. I am coming back and getting more of these guys. That's good, up, man. So you peel the you peel the back right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let's see how it all comes oh, apart. Okay. And then you can pull out that vein. No problem. Oh my goodness. These almost taste as good as as a seafood type instead of. I'm used to crawfish tasting like the, the grass or the yeah. soil. These taste really good. Mm. My goodness. Trick with the claw. Mm -hmm. Pop the little piece off. Yeah. Grab it by the other end. Oh, okay. I 
sometimes, yeah, you got to crack it a little bit, but oh, that's good meat in those claws. Oh man. Oh boy. Mmm. Man, so good, man. Somebody, That's a good trick. Somebody told me these were uh, the native crawfish. I don't know. I'm no scientist, but they do look a little different than some of the other ones I've caught. You know, I just looking at them. I don't know what's a native, what's not, man. All right. But they taste good. Yeah, we make. Um, when we get the potatoes like this, yeah, we'll pull them out and make mashed potatoes out of them and put butter in it. Oh, that is a good idea. All right, folks, so I'm going to finish eating my crawfish, crawdads, whatever you want to call it. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming, Nathan. Oh, thanks for inviting me. This is awesome. Mm hmm These guys are like, they're tough to get at. They're kind of hard. You got to be really meticulous. But, man, that tastes really good. So, all right, folks, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.